Lowestoft, which is situated on the North Sea coast, is the most easterly point of the United Kingdom. It is a port town which developed due to the fishing industry and it is a traditional British seaside resort. It has wide sandy beaches, two piers and tourist attractions including a small fair. Lowestoft is the second largest town in the county of Suffolk. 110 miles northeast of London, but much more relevant to this story, Lowestoft is just over 300 miles from the coast of Germany. We need to go 100 years back in time. It is Monday, the 9th of August 1915, shortly after 10 o'clock at night. A time in those days when many people would have been in bed. All that could be heard was the sound of the waves breaking on the lowest off beach. Then, another sound, very quiet at first, getting slowly louder. A strange droning sound, unlike anything that the people of Lowestoft had ever heard before. It was a sound that they would never forget. And this sound brought other sounds which were worse, for they were the sounds of the bombs and then the guns. Death and destruction by a new and terrible weapon, the Zeppelin airship, had arrived by night over Lowestoft. To the Secretary of the Admiralty London, report of the Zeppelin raid on Lowestoft, 9th of August 1915, be pleased to inform their Lordships that at about 10.10pm 10, 10 on the 9th of August, reports were received from Covehithe of a Zeppelin coming in this direction. Steps were at once taken to man the anti-aircraft guns on the pier, station the searchlights. As soon as the Zeppelin was sighted, fire was opened from each of the anti-aircraft guns. A statement by Lance Corporal A. Bush, Corporal of the Guard on the magazine at Kirkley Run. At 10.15pm, I sighted the Zeppelin steering roughly I sighted to the, the Zeppelin steering roughly to the northward. Shortly after I had sighted her, the anti-aircraft guns on the south pier commenced firing. I observed several shells explode. The majority burst behind her. One burst broadside onto her before reaching her. Immediately after this, the Zeppelin dived and then rose rapidly. After this, I lost sight of her as she altered her course straight out to sea. Lance Corporal A. Bush, Norfolk Regiment. The damage done in the town was small. One young woman was killed. I have the honour to be, sir, your obedient servant, captain in charge. The Zeppelin's bombs came down on Lovewell Road, where the young woman was killed. Lawn Park Road, London Road, the Esplanade and Wellington Road. The Lowestoft War Memorial Museum, which opened in 1995, has a small chapel and a roll of honour for civilians killed by enemy action in Lowestoft in both world wars. The name of the young woman killed in the raid is recorded on this roll of honour. Only 20 years of age, Helen Grace Cook was killed by the bomb which struck Lovewell Road. She was buried in Lowestoft Cemetery. We must at least visit her grave. But where is it? It seems that Helen Cook's grave is unmarked and as such is impossible to locate. Lowestoft historian Bob Collis had more success and the photograph of him at Helen's grave appeared in a local newspaper. Except, the death certificate of Helen Cook makes interesting reading. She died on the 9th of August 1915 of diphtheria, pneumonia and cardiac failure, and not of injuries sustained from a Zeppelin bombing raid. So who was the young woman who died in Lovewell Road? and whose name ought to be recorded on the Roll of Honour. Another Lowestoft historian, Ivan Bunn, discovered that the Lowestoft War Memorial Museum had got their research wrong, and that the girl who died in the bombing raid was Kate Crawford. Kate was 18 years of age, and her death certificate records the cause of death as being crushed and suffocated as a result of the collapse of a house 
caused by the explosion of a shell or bomb discharged from a hostile aircraft. A statement issued by the East Suffolk Police states that a bomb fell on a house and shop owned by Arthur Stebbings, grocer, and occupied by Mrs Hammond and two children and Kate Crawford, aged 18, her niece. The latter was recovered from the debris dead. Poor Kate was a kitchen maid for the Stebbings. Exactly a hundred years after this event, a small memorial ceremony was held in Lovewell Road at the site of the house where Kate died. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle in the hearts of all men and women the true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who make decisions for the nations of the earth, that in tranquillity your kingdom may go forward till the earth be filled with the knowledge of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join with me in observing a minute's silence just to contemplate the events of a hundred years ago and to remember young Katie Crawford who died near this spot a century ago tonight. First World War, um, Katie Crawford was the only fatality uh, in Lowestoft due to air attack. Um, and so it's quite significant, and it's really the start of the terror weapons of the modern era. And for two or three months, people moved out of the town. They only came back gradually when they found that it was safe to do so. Kate Crawford was buried in the graveyard at St Edmund's Church, Kessingland, just outside Lowestoft, on August the 16th, 1915. Against the entry in the burial register, the rector of Kessingland, the Reverend Ralph Forster, added the following. Killed by a bomb from a German Zeppelin in Lowestoft on Monday, August the 9th at 10.30pm. The girl was in service in Lowestoft and was to have been married in October. Well, we were very sad to discover that um, Katie Crawford, who was the young woman, young Kessingland woman who was killed in the Zeppelin raid in 1915, um, is in fact buried um, in the churchyard, but in an unmarked grave. And we've been through the registers and we've asked our local historian to see if we can discover where she is in fact, um, where she has been laid to rest, but been unable to locate the actual spot, but uh, certainly Katie was remembered in our prayers on the morning of the 9th of August. Exactly three years after their daughter's death, Miss Crawford's parents placed an in memoriam notice in the local newspaper, which included the words, I miss her when the morning dawns. I miss her when the night returns. I miss her here. I miss her there. Oh God, I miss her everywhere. From her sorrowing mother, father, sisters and brothers. The role of honour at the Lowestoft War Memorial Museum has been changed. It now records Kate Crawford's name. Thirty years to the day after the bomb from the Zeppelin took away the life of a young Lowestoft servant girl, Another bomb was dropped nearly 6,000 miles away on a town called Nagasaki. The final death toll was in excess of 135,000.